Good morning. <laughs> Jesus. What sorts of alarms going off on this? Right. Um, Ollie's. Quiet night. And uh, just about to set sail. I can get the camera to level out. There you go. That's about that. I think it's going to rock, roll about. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to get set sail. Just waiting for the air to build up. So what you didn't hear last night, or what I didn't tell you, when I got in here, although I made two phone calls to them to book a slot, well, that information hadn't been passed on to any of them. Oh, I should have done. That information hadn't been passed on to. So I went because I didn't know where to park. I didn't know where the. Uh, can you slow down, my son. I didn't know where to uh, where the uh, book parking was. I had a rough idea, so I thought I'd go into the office and um, the girl behind the counter said, oh, I don't know nothing about it. I said, well, I spoke to two different people and I've booked the slot, so have you got one? Uh, yeah, we have. I said, well, that's, that's a good thing. <laughs> so uh, what I'll do in future, just got a bit of a bit sharpish here. Yeah. Don't know what fell over then. Um, what I'll do in future, if I know I'm coming here, I'll just book a slot. Because you, although you're on the exit, it's quite, it's a quiet spot. And loads of room. And close to the restaurant. So it was all right. <coughs> So I'm supposed to be at this place at 8 o'clock and uh, it says I'm going to be there at half past 7. So, oh, The other thing I did last night was I forgot to take my card out. So <laughs> I went and had my dinner <coughs> and um, I left my card in. So luckily I got back and I noticed and I quickly put it on break and I still managed to get annoyed in. So <laughs> I was... I wouldn't have had enough time to get an 11 in, but I did have, so I've, I haven't lost, I haven't gained, I haven't lost. Midnight. Take the exit, head 6, 
six, then take the motorway. We've got to know, huh? we, we know we're turning left. It's uh, 11 degrees. Dark. But I've got my shorts on. Just had to check in case I forgot to put them on. I've done that before. In the morning, sort myself out, had a coffee, did my vehicle checks like I do every morning without fail, and um, thought I'd go in and get some, uh, you know, it's about half five, six o'clock, something like that. And I thought, I know what, I'll go in and um, Craig's is open. I'll go in and get her. Going to get something to eat for breakfast, that'd be nice, got time. Go out of the truck, walk the, it was a sweat of memory, that's right, and I was parked quite away as well. So I had to walk all the way through the truck park. Walked all the way back, and my keys in the like, keys in my hands and my wallet in the other hand, I thought I'd put my keys in my pocket. When I put my keys in my pocket, I just had shorts and t-shirt on. Well, t-shirt. Went to put me, went to put me. I had to put my keys in my pockets. I just had my pants on. <laughs> I hadn't put my shorts on. Oh, oh, fucking hell. Walk of shame. You do that like, like Mr. Bean shuffle all the way back to the, uh, all the way back to the truck, open. no one knows that you're still in your boxes. Oh, fucking hell. Thankfully, I noticed before I got in there, I stood in the queue in the... Stood in, imagine being stood in the queue in uh, Greg's life, just your pants on. Oh, animal trucker. That would have put them off their sausage roll, wouldn't it? Oh my days. So anyway, new day. What day is it today? Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. This week has flown by, I must admit. This week has absolutely flown by. And um, easy day to day. Right, about an hour and a half to get up to where I'm going. Tip. Straight back down the road. By the time I get down the road, probably get on the docks, job done. Probably won't have too much time to get anywhere. Nice. Might not even get on the docks today. I don't know, it depends how knackered they are. If I get down res relatively early and the dogs are knackered, I'll just um, go to bed, get up early. I don't care. So anyway, did I tell you, we bought a house. A house? A house? We're moving to Scotland. I had a few of my friends, I'll put, I'll put a note on my Facebook page, on my uh, private, personal uh, Facebook page. A few of you are already on the, uh, uh, have um, found me on Facebook. Um, and um, I put a note on there saying that, you know, we've sold the house. Uh, house sold. Didn't say that we bought, just at that stage I put a, put a note on there saying house sold. It was amazing. That, I mean, the vast majority of people said, congratulations, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. But I had one mate, and he said, uh, why? No, even though, even when I explained the situation that, you know, you can't, you know, we want a bigger property, we want land, we want to do, we want to do things. You know? We've got plans. And, uh, it's not why. Nah. Didn't get it at all. Doesn't get it. 
and I, I was, it, it, it surprised me. It's a, <coughs> well, excuse me. Um, I was surprised. And uh, I, I don't know the reasons behind it, I know it. But it just appeared that he just couldn't get his head mounted. Even after I explained it. I don't know. I mean, it's easy to turn around, isn't it? It's not everyone's cup of tea. <clears throat> Moving to the Highlands of Scotland and um, starting a business. At a ripe old age of 57. You know, most people are winding down. We're winding up. We've got to get into uh, full on beast mode. But I'm looking forward to it because it's, uh, it's going to get me fit. And boy, do I need that. But it's going to get me fitter just by moving about a bit and doing stuff, you know? Well, moving about a lot and doing stuff. So I'm looking forward to that. <clears throat> And we had um, one of um, Gorgeous Kira's, one of her family members, actually turned around and we, we, we've heard second hand, so we don't know how it is, but uh, it's believed to be correct. <clears throat> that he said, um, well, his words were apparently, I believe it when I see it. Well, we're just, we're just about to prove him wrong. The only thing that can scupper the plans at the moment is something disastrous happens. So, all barring that, we're off. So, I really can't wait. What I'll do is I'll put a. <clears throat> if I can, and if I remember. I'll put a picture up of the house. Uh, I've got an aerial shot that I lifted off the. Um, probably get away with it. <coughs> lifted off the. Uh, lifted off the website. Chess over there, it's all over the place. Well, I slept all right last night. I haven't needed the night heater on. Um, until first thing in the morning when I wake up. Then I stick it on and then I'm cooking. So that's the plan for the day. Up here, tip, back down south. Actually, up quite close. I'm not far away from where my daughter lives, and my little grandson Theo. They're super excited. They're super excited. Um, 
my daughter doesn't get on with her mum, which is a bit of a shame, really. But uh, and unlike her mother, <clears throat> who slagged me off and uh, tried to turn my daughter against me. Um, I've risen. I've always risen above that. When I, whenever I spoke to my daughter, and she said, you know, she said about her mum playing up and causing all sorts of grief for her. And I've always, always said, just you just got to remember that's your mum. And, uh, that's what you know. Whatever happens, that's your mum. <clears throat> um, but she's 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 gone so far off peace now. Her mother, you know, it's, she has not, My daughter has nothing to do with her. Um, so. What can I do? Not through, not through any fault of myself. That's all. She's made her own mind up what her mother's like. Uh, so it's come back, come back to bite her mother on the ass, really. And, uh, yeah. So anyway, my daughter is really excited that she's got us further away, but north, <laughs> bizarrely. A similar sort of distance, actually. Uh, uh, no, further away. Uh, mm. <clears throat> no, about halfway. About half. Yeah, further, further away, I think. But only by only only by fifty odd mile. So uh, yeah, so she, she said she wants to come up and stay every summer. We will be coming up and stay every summer, uh, bringing Theo up holidays and stuff like that. So yeah, no, it'd be brilliant. Brilliant. Imagine, imagine a little lad growing up <clears throat> in the countryside like that, having a whale of a time. Taking them out in the motorbike and sidecar. They love it. Doing some crazy shit in the fields. Uh, you can hear that knocking noise, that's my bunch of fucking keys on the key ring, banging against the dash. Keep meaning to change it, keep forgetting every time. Hear it, bang, 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 yeah. It's the only thing that's banging. <clears throat> so I'll probably call in and get fuel in the hollies on the way back down. need to get fuel, I suspect. No, I might be able to get back down. I might just go to the Hollies anyway. And then, um... Yeah, that's about it, really. Don't know nothing else. So this is a night drive along the M6. Huh. Barrels are fun for you. But you just hear me waffling on. Don't even know how much you can see. This might all be blurry. It could be a complete and utter waste of time when I review it. <clears throat> but knowing me, and as you see by some of my uh, videos, um, I don't always review everything. Just out of time. So we've got 69 miles to Junction 28. So I'm just gonna kick back and uh, enjoy the drive up and I'll speak to you all a little later on. Hello. Just about to come off the M6 at Junction 28. My daughter lives about 10 minutes away. But unfortunately, she can't come and see me because she's broken her bloody foot because she slipped down the stairs. And it's got a, one of them boot things on. She can't drive. Uh, she could have come down. Brought my grandson down to see me. I didn't realise we were that close until I actually looked on the map this morning. 
or 800 yards, take the exit. Well, that clamp is about to go, so I don't know how much of this you're going to get. I'll go until it dies. You may get bug rule, it's likely to go any second. Take the exit, 28, then at the end of the road, turn right. Need a week. 